Mackinac. Well, we can speak facts. He, he beat the greatest team in NBA history. A 73 win uh, Golden State team. He went, to, he went to eight finals. Regular season. You know, uh, they were regular season champions, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Around, well, but nobody pad, did no what they did. The right. Ain't no pad now. We're going right. to speak the truth about it. Ain't pad, no stats. I'm going to hit you with this one, E. I'm going to hit you with this one. Regular right. season. You talking about he went to eight championships straight and all that, right? That's hot, right? Right. But if me and you got ready to go fight and get into it with some folk, right? Yeah. You wanted me to recruit somebody. Right. And I said, man, that nigga five. He three and five. Would you say get him? I would first say he's not a he's not a nigga. He's our brother. He's oh, yeah. a king. Oh, oh, oh. But you know, oh, oh, oh. you know what? Oh, boy. Okay. If any, if, if, if we're talking Eddie about fight, I will probably get Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather because he never would lost. You get LeBron with if his we're rap? talking about basketball one on one, I wouldn't know who to pick. But we're talking about team basketball. Who's the greatest team player? I would get LeBron James hands down. It's not even debatable. So you, you can, I I mean, yeah, like, Sound just like a man that watch sports that might be a whole on the record. Show. Don't watch the game. That might be I don't watch nothing about LeBron. Show. I'm like everything well, else bore me. Okay. He's the. I mean, I, I put it like this. We won't argue this. No player has ever been watched like LeBron James in the history of any sport. One thing I'm gonna say about it, E. Now I'm, I'm gonna speak my piece on it too. Now Jordan. I'm not necessarily a big time LeBron James fan. I like LeBron right. as well as I like other athletes in the sport as well. Everybody say my team sorry, ain't no sense t- stating who the old teams are. But right. one thing I love about that guy is the way they came up in the game. I love that. The way they developed that. that camp. I love that. The way they taken over and, and modernized Modernizing how, it, yeah. how right. this thing should be done out right. here. Not just sports, right. and business, period. I love you, bro. I'm putting the most beautiful business model out there that you can ever see, bro. Yes, yes. I mean, true. Bron team, Jay-Z team, man, they... They something for those. I love it. I love the, it. The, the ones that had the control and the grip on the game for the longest, they something that they, you know, they they, they standing to the help on them guys back. They know they coming. And right. they know their presence is already being felt, let alone right. coming. You know what I'm saying? And I think. I love that yeah. about them outside of hooping, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to let y'all have the fan. Yeah. And I think, you know, just agree to what he said. You know, players today have the, the access to be uh, more in control of their brand. Michael Jordan was getting paid a million dollars a year. LeBron yeah. James, you know, uh, signed his w- whatever he want to sign, signing players he want to sign, and so the game has changed uh, in his music too. Yeah, you hear about yeah, all those yeah, rappers right. that you know uh, caught the board. Yeah, man. they broke in the eighties and seventies. You know, Movies. right? But Jay Z, he's like a trailblazer. That's why I love mm-hmm. so much about you. You're a trailblazer, and so people can watch you and they say, "Well, Benny Max is doing something that's never been done before." Jay Z's doing something that's never been done before. LeBron James is whether we argue about his player or not, no, he's no, doing. No, no, he's 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 he's, he's we'll good enough to change. Off. He's good enough to change the landscape of how they do business in the NBA. Man, well, so that true. I mean, that's true. I yeah. mean, serious. And he's you the see, man. He got that demand, and right. the people want to see him, so right. they got to listen to him. Right. And, and creating that demand for yourself, man. Right. And and, and that that's a real thing with us because we phasing into that now. You know, since uh, uh, families, uh, you know, turning out better products with kids. Because uh, we ain't going to always shed light on what's going on wrong. Right, we talk right. about the positive end of things. Right. And, and we see families that shed, that, that, that putting out great kids in the community. Uh, more and more kids going to college than I ever seen from my generation. I right. know generation before. Right. Yeah. They 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 excelling in sports. They excelling in all the arts. They excelling in uh, all type of skills that just have to keep on being developed. And, and like I said, like we said last show, man, we headed though. We just right. got to keep it up, bro. Man, you it's know? it's something that is so important that we having this conversation. And I'm sitting by this man. And, you know, uh, I've been ran across you a couple of times. And I always like your spirit. But a lot of people, older people especially, want to see Michael Jordan you know, remain, you know, keep the torch or whatever. But if you think about it, it's people that never got a chance to see Michael Jordan and seeing LeBron and think that's all they know. Mm-hmm. And, and and some people like me that actually got a chance to see Michael Jordan and I see the new, aren't the new supposed to be better than the old because we learn from their mistakes? You and Ricky yeah. Smiley is a perfect example. Me uh, and somebody was having this conversation the other day when Ricky Smiley was at the little picnic thing. Mm-hmm. And he's a trailblazer. He's somebody from our community that came up out of our community. Okay, but if you, look, if, you, if you look at him, if you look at Benny Mac, their styles are similar, but Benny Mac is doing something that no no person has ever done. Mm. He's doing what Ricky Smiley did, and he's doing stuff that no other person has no, done. So it's like he, he's changing yeah. 
He's changing in the way we. City. Yeah, he's changing the way the way. South. Yeah, he changed. He. I don't even know what to call it. So you know, he he's changing the game. He's changing the culture, and so that's what we get with new technology. You know what I'm saying and stuff like that. The comedians in the '60s and '70s didn't have social media. You're funnier than half of the people that got these. Was Jess hilarious in her hood? She the married the dude, I think, or, or she's dating the guy, a uh, country Wayne. You know, it's, it's gonna be opinion. But you see people every day in our communities that have so much talent, and now we have a voice, a platform with social media and all this technology where everybody has cell phones that we can get that voice out. Yeah. Well. Well, first of all, I I, I speak on you know. Not really what nobody else is doing, cause I admire what they're doing. Right, I like right. To do my own thing, because right. I feel like being in the city of Birmingham, we have a hell of an identity that we don't display. Right. A lot of times we end up following people because that's what's hot, not right. realizing that we got the shit that everybody wants. Right. There's people that come in still and go back. With your own ideas, you all the time. Yeah, you way. just have to believe in your idea. Just like that shirt that's sitting over there in front of the bar that say, "I ain't scared to be me." Right. You can't be scared to be what's on you. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? So, you know, I appreciate all the love yeah, and the support yeah. in the city. And, you know, I'm going to continue to just keep on keeping on. Yeah. I'm going to be with you. Whatever. Yeah, because right. you can't do nothing but do what it do. That's all they can do, man. I know. I come from the entertainment background here in the city, too, man. Uh, for those that don't know, man, I was in the music and still out, still am in the music. And uh, a lot of my extension and partners still out there in the game, whether they producing still, uh, writing songs or recording songs. And... Man, the best thing you could see out there when you was out there blazing that trail, um, use the word EU, when you blazing that trail, right. man, the best thing you can have is an example. Right, yeah. right, uh, right. A good, right. professional, right. already rolling down here, you know what I'm saying, moving ball that you can see and, and, and say, okay, I want to bounce it like that ball. Right. Okay, that's what he did. Okay, I know I, I need to do that. Or you may even come through it, like you said, the, 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 uh, the, the new getting better than the old. Right. You may come in and perfect something that you see that one person did. Right. That he already doing perfect. Right. You may see a way to make it better. Right. If you just, you know, put a little gas behind that vision, man. Not you know what I'm saying? But, you know, just like I said last podcast, Everything starts with a conversation. Mm. Right. One thing I noticed about being a barber so many years, being in the radio, traveling around the country, blessed to do that, that a lot of time, I think black folk, we the coolest folks in the world. Mm. Like for real, literally, I'm saying it uh, sarcastically, but I'm for real, we the coolest people in the world if the right approach come about. Right. And a lot of stuff mm. that we want to do, we inspire to do, or we see them doing and want to do it, a lot of time it's just, bro, how you do it? Right. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, pride and ego, or like Sam said, not having an example to show you how it need to be done, right. you know, that kind of messes us up. But that leads me to say war. A lot of people see you around. A lot of people see, well, I ain't going to say they know exactly what you're doing, but they see the shirt. Right. What is war? You seen that Football. war. You ain't seen nothing else. That yeah. war. What is war? That war been around, man. What is war? I what get that question asked a lot for some reason. Uh, but it's, it's a good question at the right time. Mm -hmm. War is... A message. It's, it's, it's a message of unity. It's a message of love. Uh, it's a message to everyone. Um, I started this movement in 2015 at St. Clair Correctional Facility, one of the most dangerous prisons in the United States. Um, actually, the third most dangerous prison in the United States at the time, the most dangerous prison in Alabama. And uh, my brother was up there. And us being, you know, from Gate City, from Birmingham, the east side, that culture, of that gang culture that you know, in the early 90s, uh, it affected my family. My twin brother and my older brother were members of Bloods. And, it, you know, gang violence had kind of died down on the streets. But in prison at St. Clair in 2015, uh, the gangs took over. And, it, and that what made it so violent. And my brother, being older, because a lot of guys come to prison young age, he was more like a leader. And so whenever something went down, they came and got him. You know what I'm saying? It was it was so much violence, so much, you know, uh, stabbing over, you know, cigarettes, a little smaller stuff like that. And so, you know, me only having a year left uh, before I go up for parole, which is life sentence, me and, and then being, you know, the type of person I am, the type of person that I always looked at the next person as not a rival or opposition, but somebody that we can build with and work with. And, you know, you know, uh, I've always believed in unity. Mm -hmm. I've always believed in, you know, being a team and brotherhood. And just wanted to kind of calm the, 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 some of the chaos that was going on. and Because this is my life. I'm in prison. I'm in here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And these, these guys I have to, you know, I have to, you know, live with. 
And so we can't be, you know, killing each other, stabbing each other. So we, you know, we, I, I started it just saying, hey, look, we're brothers first. I understand your blood. I understand your crib. I understand your disciple. But we're brothers first. How they take? I, not to cut y'all, but how, how how do they take to that in the joint, man? Cause you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I ain't never been in the joint. So uh, I mean, when you you going against all everything that's going, you right, and right, you just right. gonna bust that left while everybody going right and say. Man, we brought them. We don't need to be knowing it. How how did that go over in prison, man? That's, you know what a, that's a good question. Most people yeah. like, shh, man, that nigga, that probably, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and not just any prison. The most dangerous prison in Alabama. And you, this all information you can Google. And, um, I have photos with pictures and war shirts, I mean war hoodies uh, in St. Clair. The, the reason why I was able to start this movement in, in an environment like that, a violent environment like that, because I had love for people. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? First of all, so I yeah, hadn't man, just bro. got to prison. I had been in prison eight years. And so I got comfortable being around, you know, my brothers. And I built relationships, you know. And I didn't have a relationship with every single person in the prison. But the, 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 the most notorious guys or the most known guys, you know, throughout the years, we got a chance to know each other. And we got a j- chance to become close. The strong, the strong the, guys. Right, you know? right, yeah. right, right. My ben brother, C said, Link right. with the strong brother, and you know, I think it's a, a matter of like iron sharpening iron. Right. People say, "Well, damn, I'm in this environment. I've been around this dude. I like how this dude talk. I like how this dude conduct his everyday life." And so, you know, he's never been on the. Because Birmingham, I'm gonna be honest with you, in Alabama prison, Birmingham kind of run it. So if you're from Birmingham, you you know you really, you know what I'm saying? You under that umbrella of you're the majority. Right. No city has uh, more uh, incarcerated felons than Birmingham because it's the biggest city. Deep now, no. Yeah, they deep. And so they kind of stick together even though, you know, it can be, you know, uh, 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 conflict amongst each other. But when it came to Birmingham versus Montgomery or Birmingham versus especially small little cities like Opelika or whatnot. And so I've always been, like, influential, mm-hmm. you know, because I think being different, it gives you a space where, you know, the people that's following everybody, they're tired of seeing the same thing, and when they see something different, it's refreshing. Right. It's something that they might have been like, I, I like this. I, I mean, I'm following the crowd, but I'm just doing it because I don't know. I'm unaware. And so I, I had a, a, a good reputation in the institution, and so that's what led me to feel comfortable enough to say, hey, look, I can talk to these guys. And it started just without war, without the name, just me you know, intervening when somebody, a, a blood stole a dude's shoes, an older guy's sh- a pair of shoes. And uh, the Crips, he was affiliated with the Crips. And so the Crips stepped down on the Bloods and be like, look, y'all can violate this dude or we can go to war. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm-hmm. you know, if a Crip do something to a Blood, no matter what he did, without confronting the Bloods, they're going to go to war. And a mm-hmm. lot of Crips was getting money in that institution. They was feeding their families from prison through cell phones, you know, a contraband or whatnot. <coughs> mm. So they didn't want that added drum mm-hmm. with another game. So what the Bloods did was they violated the Bloods because they didn't want to go to a lot of the Bloods were getting money and they didn't want to you know go to war because this dude stole a pair of shoes because he was on high run and he don't get money in from home. So they took him in the back and they beat him to death, man. And when I saw that and the, some of the Bloods came and got my brother because he was like the OG and they were like Pat, what are we gonna do? And Pat said, Shit, take him in the back and, and, and beat it, you know, and violate him. You know what I'm saying? Cause so, so it's rap basically somebody coming in the joint. Couldn't do all that BS, all that bullshit, basically, and goddamn saying, man, look here, man, chill, man, goddamn, too much of that shit. Man, shit, we, we trying to goddamn send a few more home. Than, at know, most man. prisons. That's right, is that real? Not at most prisons. At most prisons, you had level headed people who, you know, believed in, you know, conflict resolution. At St. Clair, at that time, it was different because the inmates had took control, the gangs had took control, mm. and it was more, more so of, you know what I'm saying, a div- it was more division at that institution than I ever seen, mm-hmm. and it was more violence at that institution than I ever seen. So a lot of people I just kind of you can, about Saint Claude. yeah you can't just if you're a blood you can't just say well I don't want to be violent or I don't want to violate this. They have codes and laws that they 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 live by, and so that's what made it more difficult, you know, at that institution. I wouldn't say that, you know, I changed the culture with this movement there because I'm gonna be honest. A lot of people are like man. Me saying we all related, okay, that just make you cool. If somebody play with me, I'm going to kill them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't no re- violence reduction at, at that prison at that time. Yeah. 
but what it did do is sent the message that hey, it had gave some people a lot of stuff to think about. You know what I'm saying? So but when I first started seeing the shirts, I ain't no way it came right. from. So right. it had to be some kind of way. Right. I was seeing them everywhere. I was like, okay, whoa, that, 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 that what five does, you know what I'm saying? What, what going on with that? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and you know, uh, we hate to, you know, for everybody to get a, a, a negative connotation of, 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 of the gang violence that you're talking about, but right. it is reality. Right. Yeah. And right. people got to understand that these young guys, you got to meet them where they at, man. You got to meet them where they at. Man, you can't just go out here and, and just just throw a, a, a college application in their face and ACT and tell them to go take it and, right. and think you're just going to spin out a successful young man right. or a young lady or, you know what I'm saying? You got a right to... You got to rise and meet them where they at first. Show them that you sure. understand that culture. You've been through that culture. You're, you're a product through. of that you're, culture. You're a product of that culture. And look what I turned into. Look what I'm doing. I'm an entrepreneur yeah. out here. Right. I'm, I, I got several jobs out here. I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm of yeah. that culture. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's that's the key. Uh, sure. People from, from the struggle, people from that culture. I had the, the, the uh, privilege to speak to the kid that stole the Max bus. Uh, uh, a stole a Mac bus. Yeah, he stole the Max bus. He was on the, you know, chase. He was trying to get that. I heard that. Yeah, Without right. that, that get back. Right. And uh, when I went to the, uh, right, when I when I went to the juvenile detention center to see him, he, you know, he had his guard up because mm -hmm. people come talk to him all the time because he was a kid that kind of stayed in trouble. And, and when I first told him, I was like, I got a life sentence, man. I'm not the average person coming to you, coming to talk to you. I, I know the direction you're headed. I didn't been there. You know sir. what I'm saying? And he listened. Man, and he was, oh, uh, man, he, when I said life sentence, because you got to think, he's 13, 14, 15 years old, whatever his age. And this is the first time where, you know, he's getting so much attention from some doing something negative. And right? so, you know, the the fear of prison mm -hmm. is in his mind. I'm in detention. And, and so I don't want to do three years. I don't want to do a year. And here it is, somebody coming to you telling you they did a life sentence. Mm -hmm. So that's going to. Hey, I need to hear this now. But but as well, as well, when he get back to the cut, when he get back yeah. to the block, then you done took a mad ball. Right. right. He done been around his constituents. Right. Man, they don't have one like boom, bye, yay. Yeah. Yeah. And they, and that's boom, bye, yay. Yeah. Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you sending a good message. You sending a message of, you know, 10 years, 15, 20 years down the line, what you right. going to be doing. Right. They sending the message of right now, right. boy, you fired, yeah. you, you, you know what I'm saying? You took a man, but a nigga ain't doing that out here. And they're the majority. Uh, and they're the majority. Yeah. If a person get into a fight on social media, you'll get as many views, nine, um, nine million views. You know, we're all star, but we're doing something, we're having a conversation about stuff that's going on in our community. Successful, you know, African-American men that does a lot, because I know you guys do a lot uh, for mm -hmm. the community. And, and war is self-explanatory, but you know you would think that that's where all the focus and attention should be on. But it's so much negativity, negativity no overruled. So you know I see it every day. A girl get on Facebook and get the I'm, I got something to say. I'm finna cuss this girl out, and she got 40 viewers. Entertain, but here it is. Yeah. You at your daughter graduation. Your daughter finna graduate. You got two viewers. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, fool, foolishness is right. promoted because right. you know in I, our community. Hold up, in our it, community. Yeah. Well, it, it's actually in all communities. I think that's just what we see. You know, because it's all around. But a lot of times, that's the stuff to get likes. And a lot of people, they get their, uh, they just do from likes. Right. Some people right. get mad at people in real life about likes right. on hearts right. right. and stuff right. like that. Right. So you know, and, 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 and like you said, man, it's it, that's entertaining, bro. You gotta think when we watch an action movie, or a hood movie, or a drama movie, that's right. what we looking at that right. movie for. And that's so where you, I come from. Yeah, you talking about somebody in real life, and up here live in what, that. What you know what I'm saying? With that food. From, <laughs> where did it come from first? Did it come from TV or did it come from reality? It came from when the first Joker they seen make that lick and come back to the hood and said, that's all I did. Yeah. It looked good because it looked easy. You the know idea saying? came from the individual, it came from reality. But the culture came from music, came from TV. You know, yeah. I, I, I've met people. I'm glad you said TV yeah. too, cause Scarface said, ain't, it, it ain't just star with rap, and how many, rap. Yeah. it but, started but with how the many, movie. But how many guys you know? Yeah, seeing it worth the hearing. Yeah. How many guys you know had Thug Life tattooed on them? I know a dude who had a Mercedes Benz tattooed around on his don't neck. Don't get them true and, tattoos. No and, and, and drove a, a Honda Escort. But Lil Wayne got a, a, a Mercedes a Benz tattooed around his neck. So Shining. He right, yeah. right. Shining. The phrase Suwu. In, in Birmingham, both of my brothers blood. I'm from Gay City. I never heard Suwu till Lil Wayne. 
So we get a lot of the culture from the music. We get a lot of the uh, future got everybody doing Molly and, and, and Xanax and, and, and Percocet. That's all they talk about. When we were young, we didn't know what a Percocet was. They existed, but we didn't know what a Percocet was when we were 13. We didn't have assault rifles when we were 13 because Tupac didn't have assault rifles. But now you got black youngsters, you got NBA. I've never seen this many guns in, 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 in music videos. I never seen this many guns. In the Chronic video, I remember they had to block the, the, the block out the chronic sign. More videos. Yeah. There's more videos with guns in them, I think. And social too. media is hurting us. So we got, we, if more what's videos hurting with us, guns in them. Right. Social media is hurting us. Every time a, a, a young person dies in, in our community, a black young person dies, you go on their page and you see guns and you see gang signs. And that goes from anywhere, from EJ Bradford. And, you know, Put rest in peace to his family. Right when you go on his page, you see guns and you see gang signs. Every time somebody dies, and that, it's not the game, it's the mentality. The mentality got me carrying the gun recklessly. That's why I'm taking a picture with it. The only people dying is the people that take pictures with guns. The people that you never see pictures with guns, they never die. Every young person that dies, you that go on that page. That don't mean they ain't got them, because your auntie got one. And she's alive. Benny Mac might got a shotgun. He's alive. You know what I'm saying? The only people that you see is when they post them. Because when I'm posting, I'm letting the world know I'm gangster. So people are, you bringing that negative energy to you. But see, you bringing that negative energy to you. Bring that negative, that's bringing that negativity to you. But you know, I don't think it warrants a death sentence for them either. It don't. I, think that I don't I, want none of my I brothers think, to die going to prison. I think, I I think a lot of time too, though, man, I, I, I don't think we afforded the same opportunity for us on these second chances. Economics, because, all Because that. a lot of times, man, you, when you see these young cats doing this, you got to think of the place that they're coming from. Right. They're doing what they see. They're doing so, what they see. So a lot of times, like I said, to start the conversation, they can be like, hey, bro, let me holler at you. Mm -hmm. Now you know them folk going to give you 49 years, man. Right. And then, like you said, you got to spend. There's right. a better way to do it. But most people get online, they talking shit and they shitting on them. Right. And they ain't going to receive that because you right. got to remember what you were doing when you was a child. Right. So really a lot right. of times, you know, it's all about the approach and how you approach them too. Right. Because right. you got to remember, they 18, 19 years old with dick out, man. You right. folks don't want to hear that shit out your old ass. That's right. in their mind. You're right. Not saying, not knowing that they're talking to experience. You know right. what I'm saying? And then we ain't going to talk like, you know what I'm saying? I understand our community has some terrible thing going on. Terrible. Mm -hmm. We came up, see them. They still happening. Some of it worsening, like you said. Right. But but just to take a step to the other side, man. Uh, like Ben said, we can't just warrant these guys a death sentence. Kind of like what we was on last week about the martial law, all the talk mm -hmm. going on about how how to stop this, how to stop right. that. Right. But man, we got we we had a, a national hearing today. Uh, Robert Mueller set up the puffed up, didn't know what to say because they were calling him out about. They answer no questions. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Had no serious ones. All the contradictions of the report that he put out, and and Cohen and all the back and forth stuff that was going on with them, and 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 the underhand, the payments, the be quiet, the hush fee, right. it goes on on all levels. But we yeah. we we about community advocacy, right? right. So you yeah. know that we don't here talking to our people. You know we trying to be on the grown folk layman's term type of level. Yeah. You know hopefully the message bleed down to the kids, man. Right. But I, you know what I'm saying. What you're saying real to a degree that, you know what I'm saying, I can feel it. And and uh, gang culture runs a lot, man. And I, I ain't never been to the joint, but I'm sure in that joint, you either got to find you a lane or if you're going there. Or create one. And you jump in that one, you better know what you're it. doing. I think if we you understand. You live and get out of there. If we understand that this is all by design, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, it started with slavery. And, and so you have 400 years of slavery. Then you have segregation. They really don't want to free you. So they come up with a, you know, and then when I say them, I'm talking about it went from being the European uh, 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 slave masters to the southern states and, you know, government. And now it's a system that was put in place years ago by people that hated you. That hated you and I, hated us because of our color. Wanted to only, you know, use you as cattle use you to you know to, to build this nation and so we're seeing the the after effects of that but if you if you so we have to break down the core yes we were slaves 400 years ago what were we before that and so we have to develop that mindset that hey we're royal 
Mm-hmm. You know, we're royal. And, and so each person has to realize, despite what we've been through as a race, as a people, what our ancestors have been through, what about the people before them? You know what I'm saying? We are great people, and you see it every day. A white dude just killed a, a, a college student at Ole Miss, mm-hmm. shot her eight times. Mm-hmm. And I think about, you know, the news and the headlines, and, and they're going to say mental health, and he was dealing with some. And we have this uh, uh, this this this. 400 years of slavery and segregation overcome. Where's the PSTD for that? Where's the you know? Where's the recovery for that? You see, but one thing I'm one thing I'm gonna defend totally them people on on this right here. They take the opportunity and the time to come in and purchase and buy the shit so they can control. It. Right. So you right. got to think about it. If me and you watching each other back, you do some fuck shit. I ain't gonna tell it. Right. I'm gonna dumb it down. And, oh, he didn't mean any harm, right. man. He's it was sick, he, right? Because they control the narrative, right? You know what I'm saying? You're right. So a lot you're of right. times, right. right. it's about the ownership and control. And, you know what and, I'm yeah, oh, and man. you, you got to be able to control your narrative. And that keeps us as a, at a disadvantage because they, you know, the system that, that that enslaved us do control the narrative. And so it's, I mean, I think when whenever you have a people who feel like they're superior, you know what I'm saying, or a race of people that felt like they're superior, and the laws were, you know, it was a once upon a time it was a law that a black man can vote. So I don't agree with laws just because they're laws. You know what I'm saying? I agree with the mindset and what's criminal. Uh, Marijuana is a perfect example. In Colorado, you can walk around, you know, and record yourself smoking weed. You can go in the store and buy weed. Down here, you can be riding down the wrong street with a blunt. And you know your whole life can change right. in Trustville or and they want to keep it like and that. They as long keep, they can. And they want to keep it like that. We got to think where we at too. You know what I'm saying? Really? What part of the map we're on? You know, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> they, they never, they never want to breed, you know, liberation for brothers and sisters like you and me. And so it's just a fight. But you know, the the most important thing is consciousness and knowing that I'm greater than what you know society, the role society places on me. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, despite Ooh. my condition. What? Black the black community is the only community that we have fatherless neighborhoods. Gay City is the fatherless neighborhood. You have women, single women raising children, Kingston, College, Tittersville, et cetera. And so whenever you, the father is absent, that you know, because we're the backbone. The father is the key to the family, the head. You take the head off any sports franchise, you take the head off any, you know, organization, then the organization that the community will fall. And that's why the black community is in the, in the condition but, it's in. But unfortunately, though, like you said, it's all by design. Cause you it's know, by design. You think about it, you got a family in extreme poverty. The woman got a choice. Like, look, you do do Ray Ray can come on, but right. you gotta leave her ass down. <laughs> right. There's a big chance right. she gonna cheer right. them cheering over your right. ass. She ain't gonna have them thirteen sitting in the corner right. when that inspector show up. So right. all y'all ass can be at the mission. You know what I'm saying? So right. a lot of times, like you said, it's by design and how people got to this point. Right. But the thing is now, like I said, man, I'm always willing to have a conversation. And then as far as with war, since you got off the bottom bar, like you said, yeah. What what is uh what is the goal with war now and how effective has it been since you've been out? That's a good question. What's the goal of war now? Yeah. And how effective has it been since I've been out? Uh, being the leader of this movement, I'm very optimistic at the direction and the progress we've made, the direction we're going. Um, the goal for war, the goal has always been for war is to unite my brothers and sisters. And it will always be to unite people. It will always be to learn effective ways to deal with, you know, conflict and learn uh, effective ways to, you know, uh, reduce violence and come up with solutions. And we know that the key to the solution in our community is uh, realizing that that person is your brother. Uh, Realizing that that woman that you might think about carjacking on the parkway uh, for her car is your sister. And so that's, that's, that's always been the goal is to get is to bring awareness to people that we're brothers. You know what I'm saying? Before you were a blood, you were my brother. Mm-hmm. Before you were a politician, you were my brother. Before you was a police officer and you pulled me over, you was my brother. Before you was a deputy, before you was a single parent woman that worked at McDonald's and struggles to p- take care of her kids, you're my sister. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you a question. Is, is war a non-profit? War is a non-profit, 5013C. Uh, it's a private program, but I mean organization, but I think uh, we don't we don't take the the, the traditional approach uh, with this organization. It's more of a movement. It's okay. it, it's more of a you know a message that hey a strong powerful message that we're trying to spread 
in our communities, in our county, all over the world. Okay. All right. Well, you say it is a movement, right? Right. And I know now, I'm not saying you, but I'm going to give you an example. A lot of people start movements not really thinking about the end game. Right. What happens if 20,000 people are in war? What's the next step? Because a lot of people, they see, you know, a lot of people protesting, picketing, starting movement for this, right. for that, for right. this, for that. Then you start a movement of this kind. When you get all these people together and all of them saying, okay, we all related, what's the next step? Are you willing or have reached out to other uh, coordinators and, and uh, community activists to try to link it up? Because, you know, a body got a bunch of different moving parts. Have you reached out? What's the end game? And what's the next step from there? Because at some point, they are going to come together because you're consistent. What's and, the next step? Uh, the thing is, uh, ben, it, it's so the process is so long mm -hmm. that we have so much work to do. We know what the end. We know what we want the end result to be. We know what we want. You know what I'm saying to see in the future, uh, the impact that this movement uh, uh, makes. And uh, I think it's just a fight every day. Each day we have to fight for that. Um, I, I tell people, uh, people, our elected officials, our leaders, that this is going to be a long process. We look, we're talking about 20 years of, 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 of this movement to really put a dent in all the damage that's been done to our brothers and sisters because of slavery and because of segregation. And if you think about movements, the civil rights movement, you think still about lingering. It's still yeah. lingering. And you, you know, mindset. Mindset, absolutely. So it, it's a never ending movement. Because if you, you know, we'll always have violence. I tell people that the first murder in the Bible was between brothers. And that's, you know, I think that's huge for you to look at. The first murder in the Bible. Murder is, is, the, is the worst thing you can pretty much do. Murdering yourself or murdering another is the worst thing that you can do. And that, the first murder was between known brothers. Known brothers, Cain and Abel, over nothing, over jealousy, you know. And so... We know that there always be violence. What we want is to see our community, the black community, uh, 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 live in peace, to live, you know what I'm saying, united, like we see a lot of other communities, whether we like it or not. And, you know, I love all people, no matter what, the, what color, but we can learn a lot from other community races of people. You know, the Chinese people stick together. The Asian people stick together. The, the Mexican people, Spanish people stick together. We'll see, the European shopping people stick together. Shopping with us. They don't shop in our community. You're not going to see, you know, too many, you know, uh, uh, Mexican people at Joe and Debs. You know what I'm saying? But we stay in Mexican restaurants. It ain't nothing wrong with Asian. you know, Pedro. Yeah, you don't, you don't see no Asian women going to get their nails done from uh, the, the black girl, you know what I'm saying, that you grew up with. But, you know, our sisters, they, they stay in these Asian nail shops and stuff and so on and forth. And so you realize that it's really more about just supporting the people first who look like you, loving the people first who look like you. That's bad. For, for so long, and I think Martin Luther King was in error with this, and I know I'm going to get right. killed for this, but what Martin Luther King was in error was is a step. Is it, what, What's that song go? It's levels to this shit. Martin Luther King wanted to get white people to love us. But we, but the, the fight should have been first for us to love us. But see, but all, you know, fa all fairness from what I researched about Dr. Martin Luther King was this. You got to think about they did what they had to do for the time that they was in. Right. It's kind of like saying I would have shot him, but at the time he had a gun. Right. So he had to do, you know, because think about it. I would have thought I would have. Everything won the fight. starts with self love, though. Yeah, but see, how but can I get another person to love me when I don't well, love me? It was a strategy, though, because right. you got to think about it. You got to remember what we just spoke about with propaganda and media. We didn't own the media, right? So he felt like if I can go out here and show these people we ain't with it and they the aggressor, it makes other media tune in. That's a big story, right? So it was a strategy behind it. Like even though I don't necessarily agree with it, but I definitely respect it and understand it because they had to do what they had to do at that time. You had the people who fought. You had the people who was lawyers. Yep. You had the people who was... A lot of Everybody played... Yeah, it's it like a body, 200 Let's components. put it in a nutshell. It, he was a component. Let's put it in a nutshell, because this is huge, and this is something I want the, 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 the viewers to really get what I'm trying to say. This Let's just deal with the facts. In the 60s, white people killed us. White people robbed us, raped us, beat us. 2019, you're not afraid of white people. You can go to Hoover all day. You can go to Vestavia all day. You're afraid to come to Gate City. You're afraid to...
come to Kingston. When that girl driving on the parkway, she at night, she's afraid to get gas, not because a white guy's going to rob her or shoot her. She's afraid of somebody that looks just. And we, the biggest thing was gangs. You know, Bloods and Crips was killing each other. It wasn't Bloods killing white people or Bloods killing... Well, it's it's it was, anybody they're going to rob the, 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 the worst enemy is yourself. The worst enemy is just have always been yourself. You, you, we say this all the time. You're your own worst enemy. My mother, you know, and God bless, I love her. Twenty five years on drugs, cocaine. She's been her worst enemy because of my mindset. I was my worst enemy. You know, when, when a person doesn't succeed, it's nine times out of ten because they're their worst enemy, regardless of the condition. And so when you know when everything starts with self, we see it. We seen it recently in Jefferson County. Everybody went to protest when a black guy was killed by a white police officer. They wanted to stand up and do something about that one incident. Well, a lot of them didn't know him. But we kill each other every day, and that's acceptable. But, but see, he, and that can't he, be acceptable. But he is, is not, is not defending this, but let's be realistic. A lot of times they're not fighting just because, you know, a white man them. killed a black man. They fighting for black people. They, no, they fighting because it is. If I kill you, I know my fate. I am going to prison. If the person on on that end kill him, it's almost like it's let go. I think they stood up more so for a lot of other reasons than just because he was black. It's almost like, no, nah, you can't do that for one and not do it for the other. Mm. So I don't think it was just about because he was black. It was almost like, bro, we can't just do an all out injustice. All right, you know what I'm saying? To so respond I, to I that, think and so just that. think, and we gonna think about this. I wish Raymond was on this on this thing because he, he's, well, so he's so intellectual. He's so intellectual. All right, yeah, yeah, he can come on over. Yeah, in the last, come on over here, Raymond. He called you Raymond. Come on, Raymond. In the last thirty years, <laughs> in the last thirty Sorry. years, which one would you rather have back? All the brothers that the police took, all the brothers that that were taken by other brothers, and whether whether the 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 the, the the person that murdered this individual went to prison or not. See, the person that murdered you, murdered this guy might go to prison, but that the mother still lost a son. Yeah. And so we're trying to prevent death. We're trying to prevent that. I don't care what happens to the person that kills my brother because it ain't going to bring my brother back. Regardless, that ain't going to bring my brother back. And so we, 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 the biggest issue in our community is us killing us. Now, if, if, if 70 people died each year from police, you know what I'm saying? A uh, uh, white white police officer killing innocent black men, then that would be another story. I'm not I'm not I'm not justifying it. I'm saying that is an issue in our country, but it's not a direct threat to who you and I are. The direct threat to who and you you and I are are the brothers that growing up being taught to kill you, being trained and conditioned to kill you. You feel what I'm saying? Tupac was killed by another brother. He was a leader. Nipsey Hussle was killed by another brother. He was a leader. But see, but a lot of us have too. Malcolm X. Going back to what what you were saying too, I'm not saying it's right, but a lot lot of times when you heard Earl kill Peanut, you kind of knew Peanut was a robber. Right. Or you knew but why Peanut, was he a robber? Or you knew Peanut. Mm-hmm. I mean, of course, a lot of this is a, is a trickling right. down thing. So it's That's like a lot of times when you said. when you see why black on know? black crime, whether you're from West End, East Lake, Woodlawn, or whatever, you kind of know. You may not know exactly what happened, but you heard right. enough chatter to be like, man, he went over that man, tried to rob him, and he killed him. And that why right. anybody out there marching like they're marching, marching for Mike right. Brown like and the police and all that. For injustice, You know, it's almost like it's... uh. What, what's the word they use? Uh, uh, um. You just said it yourself. You like it. You you like it when a brother kill a brother, but when a white man kill a brother, you in outrage. You outrage. We like it. No, we like no, it. No, we, listen, no, like we it. just said we like negativity. We uh, like, why do they have movies? Not necessarily movies? in that outlook, what have, I'm saying. Hey, can I, can, I, can I ask a question? Go ahead. Our favorite movies are Boys in the Hood, Ministers of Society. You don't see white people loving the movie where the, the white kid went and shot up the school. They don't like this movie. Isn't you well, know all well, over? Well, you know what I'm saying? If, if that, if that <laughs> it ain't case, all over Hollywood. If the case, you, ever, you ever seen Gun Look at smoke. their music. You ever seen Gun Smoke? Nah, I haven't. Is it a country? They were, nah, they were shooting and shit. You mm-hmm. ever heard rock and roll music? Never heard it. Hard metal rock. rock. I don't listen to it. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen Goodfellas? Yeah, I seen Goodfellas. Well, what oh, you think kid, that is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Them four went on. They, they went no, They went stealing. Big time. And, they went stealing and then and say, "Don't you ever do it again?" Mm-hmm. They went doing that. Them motherfuckers was killing 
thousands of it's people. That's more domestic. Like yeah. you said, when they're from outside of town, we know son and son did. They this. haven't we been know son and son did that. So it was, like, it was it was it was almost even though we we like you said we all related. So we right. know it's domestic when when it when people don't react like they react they to the Mike Browns and the uh, Fernando right. Castiles and all them different people. It's differences. We can't just tie all those murder together like everything just a senseless murder. Right. Uh uh it police do senseless murder and they they, they kill when they have to to protect themselves. We know of one police uh, senseless murder in our county. Since I've black been young like, guys do senseless you know murder said, for sure. I know a hundred Sometimes they just protecting themselves though. The mayor brother was murdered. The mayor's nephew was bur- murdered. The district attorney's brother was murdered. My twin brother was murdered. I know 50 dudes that was raised with me was murdered. Yeah. You know? It's unfortunate. Very yeah. unfortunate, bro. Yeah. I never... Yeah. We have to, can we, can like we it, do it, y'all think we can do something about that? It's, it's, it's a yeah. problem. You got to handle it internally. Everybody got to handle it. There. You got to talk to your little cousin. That's you got to talk to your son. You got to talk to your nephew. Right. I agree. And it ain't gotta always be from a harsh perspective. Right. You ain't always gotta come out right. strong. Sometimes you gotta be there to kick it with them, just as well as you get on them when right. they messing up. You gotta right. kick it with them guys and have more of a relationship with them. Right. We are all related, bro. I love that. Yo, 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 partner, son, that ain't here. He needs you to holler at him when you see him. At least he, he needs us to holler at him. Yeah, and that's and, the, and that's and that's the end goal. I, I ain't mean you personally, but you know yeah, what I no, mean. I, I say I, I, you, I, I, yeah. And I look at us as I really look at us as brothers. Uh, uh, I was uh, on the south side, and I lived on the south side for a little while, and I didn't really know a lot of the people from there. You got a lot of different. And I seen Raymond uh, at one of the little uh, restaurants and bars and stuff, and he bought me a drink. I bought him a drink. We never really chilled together, and it was a good time. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you don't have to have a t-shirt on that says we are related to look at a person as a brother. That's mainly for the youth. The t-shirt is mainly for the youth. That's why we give it to the youth. I mean, we can't do this. We, we couldn't be successful without generating funds. So we have to sell shirts. But we give them away to our youth to get them to realize it because we have so much TV and music in our culture that's negative that these kids are growing up actually thinking that this person is your opposition because he's from this side of town. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's not the case in the white community. That's not the case in the Asian yeah, community. You ain't yeah, 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 even to say no, I don't like you because you're from the East. Ain't no East Side, West Side of Mount Brook. Ain't no East Side, West Side of Mount Brook, man. Ain't no 40 old men claiming blood in Van Stadium, man. Who commit the murders in Russia? Who commit the murders in Russia? The Russians. The Russians. Who commit the murders in Lebanon? Lebanese. Who commit the murders in Indochina? I'm going to stop you. The, American, the so, Americans commit. So what I'm saying I know is you kill within your vicinity. If a white kid if come in here with an assault you, rifle and a black kid come in here with an assault rifle, oh, I'm ducking oh, from the white kid. Man, we been, <laughs> I'm oh, ducking from the white kid. Because right, 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 he coming so to kill now, oh, everybody. Man, we're gonna say the wrong thing, <laughs> yeah, he man. coming to kill everybody. Yeah. Yeah. We, hey, hey, all right. To touch up on this, man, we can't. We got to hit this okay. phone before we let you go, bro. The direction this city head. You, you're an advocate out here. You out here. We, uh, we, in the streets as well as I'm saying you out here with politicians, bro. Go ahead, be and, 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 and we, we gonna we gonna get off into it. Oh, yeah. You know where we going? Oh, yeah. Hey, and, and, so so as far as the, the, the direction of Birmingham is glad glad in the next five, ten, fifteen, twenty years, where you see us brothers at now now not keep in mind we we trying to speak on the positive brothers that that that, that that's trying to do some things out here too. You know what I'm saying? I've been noticing some cats out there reaching out to some cats. That, that we gonna bring in and we gonna talk about this real, real estate, uh, this banking, this credit, all this. But where you see the city headed at for us that stay in the inner city now that been living here the last 30, 40 years that we know of. You know I'm finna I mean? shock you, are you ready for this? Come on with it. This city, the city of Birmingham, is gonna change the whole world. And it's not gonna be because of one person or one movement. This city of Birmingham is gonna change the whole world. That's why I see Barman. this. Little old and, I, and let me explain why. I gotta hear them. We're in the perfect place to change the world. Remember, this is the Civil Rights Bed. And if you bill. notice, if you notice, there's so much turmoil in Birmingham. It's where we talk about violence, we talk about politics, we talk about religion, we talk about the devastation. Birmingham is like the one of the worst, I mean, Alabama itself is like one of the worst states, if not the worst state. Birmingham is one of the most violent cities in the most in, in worst states, and I'm talking about Whoa. education. Alabama is the is the most overcrowded prison system in the world here in Alabama. 
So you know it's a lot of devastation and destruction. And this is why I say you. we have we once you at the bottom, ain't nowhere to go but the top. I want to talk with our leadership here in Jefferson County. We have the first African American district attorney in Jefferson County. That's huge. That's huge. That's something to be optimistic about. If you catch a case, whether you're in the right or you're in the wrong, you can call the district attorney. The district attorney isn't a person that's a white individual that might be biased or racist or prejudiced towards you. This is a brother that's from our community that you can reach out to. That's in our community. This guy was just the in the district platform. attorney. Yeah, district well, attorney. Well, the well, person, well, 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 Danny well, Carr. Well, Danny Carr, the district well, attorney. Well, the person well, that well, sends well, everybody to prison. Team Life Game. If you were prosecuted, <laughs> if you were prosecuted in Jefferson County since the hit existence of Jefferson County before 2018, you were prosecuted by a white man in a racist state. Now in 2018, 2000, last year, we elected the first black man in the history of Jefferson County. How many black mayors we've had? A million. Because a mayor isn't in the That's same position the as, a Jefferson, as, as, as the district attorney. The district attorney is the person that sent all us to prison. Every time you catch a case, whether you're innocent or not. They're going to be the one that prosecute you. And so we have a black district attorney. That's something to be optimistic in, in a city that's 74% black, uh, that black people experience injustice. Okay, e, so let me ask you this. Let me finish this question real quick, then I'll answer. Okay, go ahead. That's one, district attorney. We have a black sheriff. We have a black sheriff. Well, I grew up watching Andy Griffin, and the sheriff run the town. And we know that Mike Hale know, ran man. this town with an iron fist. And the white sheriff before him, and the white sheriff before him, all the way back to Boyle O'Connor and those really racist people that ran, you know, Jefferson County. So you're County. saying being able to reach out to him. Being, a, it, being it, able to talk, I, being that. able to relate to him. Mm -hmm. Guess what Mark Petway told me in one of his stories? He got pulled over in high school just because he was black. Mm -hmm. See, ain't no sheriff ever got pulled over because they were black except Mark Petway because they ain't never been a black sheriff. Well, that's that's something from? to be asked. Danny Carr from Inslee. Mm -hmm. Danny Carr from Inslee. Now we have a young mayor. And I know a lot of people disagree with Randall. I know a lot of people. I heard. I was watching the show the other day. I love the brother for two reasons. One, because of his youth. He gives these young, because we know the youth is the issue with the violence. We know the youth is the issue with the violence. It ain't us that's dying, Raymond, Benny. It's the 23-year-olds that game bang, that carry guns. Birmingham is actually a safe city if you're not young. In the gang and carry a gun. They might be when the last time man. you heard somebody that didn't fall under one of them three umbrellas being murdered? Okay, that's one thing. Rondo's youth. He's a. I called him this morning at six in the morning about the brother that died in my neighborhood, yeah, Gay you City. Sure, you sure call her. I called him at six in the morning. He answered the phone. He'll pull up right here in the barbershop, right here, with, with, with everything that's going on, and talk to us, and, and be a part of us. And he, he's some his youth. Another thing is. In scripture, and I, I'm not a religious person, but I believe in, you know, you know, wisdom. So, it said that the youth shall lead. The direction we're trying to go in this city, an old politician with old ways and old thinking couldn't take us there. We need a new person, a new creative way to think. And Randall's doing a lot of stuff in the city that he don't get enough credit for because he's getting so much criticism because he, he offended people by, you know, doing right. Bell was in the office giving what's everybody money. Right. What's, what's you saying? Not just throwing away the money. That's the first thing, because it's your money. It's taxpayers' money. But Randall's the first uh, 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 mayor in Birmingham that's cutting everything. Well, they say and putting they it in the right place. They saying more taxpayer money need to be going toward roads. Uh, and, and Is the roads not being in, fixed? In certain areas, to give those areas the same curb appeal and, 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 and look that you're giving in areas that's just popping up. I'm from Gay like City. Right? Wait, hold up. In, in that defense, I'm from Gay City. If you drive up Georgia Road 10 years ago, the roads on Georgia Road, I ran up and down them streets every day, Raymond. I sold Schools. cocaine. They was messed up. Do you know that though, that street is getting fixed? So if I talk about my neighborhood and my community, I can say that I can see progress. I, he can't wave a magic wand and fix every street in Birmingham. And he's concentrating on so many things. He has the hardest position out of the three newest elected officials that's going to, you know, uh, in, in those powerful positions. And so, you it know. It seems like it's happening in certain areas. Well, that's all I'm saying. He ain't we been see in office. It, well, it, it, when we see it, he ain't been in office. He ain't been in office. He ain't always the positive. He, he ain't been in office it. long enough for us to, to, to give, him a, give him an opportunity. You can't flip it in. Right. You know, no, I, I now, I'm going to go back to what we were saying about having all the black elected officials. I love to see it because it can be inspiring to some. But is it cool to have a black politician when they still got to follow white laws? 
because most of them get elected. Right. I never hear them say right. change the law. So that means <laughs> it, even if I don't want to lock Raymond up, but on the book it say he got to go, his constituents saying like his ass up. So is it good to have, or does it look? I tell you this. To have it, I he tell you this. To follow the same. Story. I tell you this. Now we can all we all if you're an individual that keep keep up with what's going on in the world, what's going around, you'll know this. In Jefferson County, or in the world, we know white people get lesser time for the same crime that black people commit. Nobody would debate that. Please don't debate that, nobody. I've heard of that. And we've always had a white person deciding how much time you you get. So now that Danny's in office, do you think, I'm not saying he's going to give people lesser time because they're black, but he's not going to give people more time because they're black. And so if a white person can get probation for raping a little kid, I know my brother can get probation for getting caught with a couple pounds of marijuana. That's, 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 and we're going to fight for it. <laughs> we're going to fight for it. That's and since he's been in office, he got a, a, a lady like out that. of prison that was sentenced to life without. Mm-hmm. She was sentenced and prosecuted by a white uh, 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 district attorney. Since he's been out, since he's been elected, he's done so much stuff in our communities. You're, you see them every day in our schools. I'd rather be prosecuted. If I if I make a mistake or make a bad decision, I'd rather be prosecuted for some by somebody that can relate to me, somebody that's from my community, that's somebody that's in my community, versus somebody that might look at me differently just because I'm black. You know, so it, I think it's, it's it's a no-brainer that we have to support our elected officials, especially Danny and Mark, because they're you know they're uh, the first of their kind. See, but I, I think a lot of people also, man, they stay they stay kind of disappointed in black politicians because a lot of time. But we're trained to go against each other. But see, but no, but you got to remember, a lot of black politicians are controlled by outside interest money. If white so, men know how to cut hair, you wouldn't be successful. Because one thing we know, black men how you or black... Up, one, how, you, how you come over there? With, with the barbershop. How you come over there? Do, we not, the do we not take our money to the white community? Do we yeah. not take our money to the... Hoover can say, look, you come over here, I'm going to kill you. Tommy Hilfiger can say, look, Tommy Hilfiger can say, look, I don't want y'all wearing my clothes. The Asians hate you. I mean, I mean, I, I shouldn't say that. Like some handle. they watch you like a hawk. It's some already but, couldn't but, handle you. But let Sheka, let 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 Sheka, uh, uh, put up that chicken wing shop or that or that nail shop in the hood. You gonna rob that? You gonna steal from her? You gonna want credit? You gonna want discount? I See, white people Asian can't yeah, cut I black hair. So saying, with the exception of barbering, like you know what I'm saying? Open up a restaurant. Open up a restaurant. I got brothers that open up restaurant. Only people came in there is the people try to get food free. In Gay yeah, City, my, yeah, my brother, well, oh, my yeah, brother over right in Gay City, man. But the thing is, though, they, they, they but kill. what you also speaking about, what you experienced, what I experienced is a whole bunch of successful black business owners that's doing Yeah, it's a lot. And I but they have, under the umbrella of white No, 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 no. <laughs> I ain't going to let you do that, dog. Not every time. No, not all Just about. Most, all of them I know, all the way from, hell, I can name one, Courtney French. Being at home. Bills catering. Shall I continue? I'm not saying they're not. You. No, no. no. What I'm saying is no, because a lot of times, <laughs> a lot of times we speak about what we experience. Yeah, what I experience. Yeah. Everybody, everybody in here. Everybody here. Yeah. What up, people? What happened? What up, people in the back? Goddamn right. What, what yeah. I experience. When, we, I, I, when, we got it. when black people stop spending seven, whatever is a certain amount of trillions each year outside their community, then we can have this conversation. You got to think. Sense. Hold up. You got to think. We spend over like 1.7 trillion, I forgot Raymond know what it is, trillion dollars in all other the communities, in, in Hoover. In tr- Get what people start doing. I'm not going to shop in Hoover no more. I'm going to go to Trustville. I'm going to go to Lakeshore. <laughs> you know, guess what I took the sheriff to? The, the sheriff said, we met the sheriff and he said, where do you want to eat at? I told him, join Debs. I was in the Galleria when the, when the little black dude got murdered. And I was crying before he got murdered on my way there because my nephews wanted to go to Dave and Buster's. I wanted to go up here to the movies mm-hmm. with, with Tobias with the little jo- I know it ain't number probably six things you can jump on up there. Spend I know Dave. The I know Dave. I know man. It's, spending that money in the city. I, understand I got that. you got to no race of people can survive spending their money outside of oh, their that's community. Fact. Oh, how that's many shirts do you think people buy from me that what versus I give and how much money shirts people buy from Tommy Hilfiger? You'll never see Tommy Hilfiger in your community passing out one shirt. You'll never see Ralph Lauren in your shirt. You know what they do with their money? They got to donate some of it to charity. The March of Dimes, and they give it to that. Nike, all the money that they make off you, guess where they they, they putting their money? In the Republicans' hands. 
So Nike all doing right. all this stuff with Ka- Kaepernick, but he giving the money to Trump. Listen, and he giving the money if, to if Republicans. A, Excuse me, real quick. The same product, Republicans bro. that keep you enslaved. If you because they a good sleep. product, I've seen people spending their bread. They will. For as food, for as clothes. So ain't no good products in the black community. Washing cars, for cutting hair, for cutting grass. If you offer a good product, if you spending your money on bad business, who gonna shop with What that? makes Tommy here if it's so happening? Is that so happening? Our progress. What makes Gucci up? a good product? I mean, this it's because it's, it's what's being presented. And this it, may- if, if they like that more than what they see, I don't know what that shirt them. said. It got a picture of an ass on it. But I'll wear that for I'll wear a Tommy Hill figure shirt. Wear them old twenty dollars. How many you want? I'll wear it. Give me one. I wear. Don't get all colors. I got four. <laughs> I can. Don't get four. I, mean, I, I give away shirts. Put know, something out there. It ain't nobody in the shirt. It ain't nobody in the shirt being it like me. Cause it ain't a being to me. I give them away. I, I really don't. Well, suck. I tell you this too. Now, now <laughs> go go, go to a school and give now, away three hundred. Let me let me elaborate. Yeah, they do. I get so much support from what you're saying about about black business and all that. You just said you. I'm not a being though. You give your shirts away. Cause it's not a being. But at the same time, that shit got to be purchased. Money has to be turned. We stay in the capitalist society. I'm going to get my money bro. from the system. Well, hey, but. I'm going to get it from the government and I give them away to the exactly kids. What you're saying. The but kids the that I give them to that's killing them. You got to teach children proper right. business, too. Right, right yeah. Hey, I, I'm going to support black businesses 100% all day, gonna be, every day, it's twice on Sunday. It's when we can keep more yeah. of that money in the hood, bro, like you said. Now I'm calling I want that way to tell me he'll figure, sir. I'll be a. Ret- I ain't going to say nothing. I, no I'll way. be. I, I will call it look good because we like it, man. Ain't I mean, nothing look it, good it about a man saying. saying he don't want you in that shirt. That that that, that you ain't you don't belong in that shirt. I'm with the culture good. flip, bro. I'm with it. <laughs> well, Let's I mean, do but, it. Then Let's too, do though. it. But we need more. We <laughs> need more product. <laughs> right, we do. We do. We and do. we'll shop with <laughs> us more. <laughs> we we need more sales because we're talented, man. But you got you got to consider though. Some people as a people we run in the world don't go like the killer. Why do white people make more money off basketball than black people? Well, LeBron only, James, only, Michael only, Jordan, Magic Johnson. Why do white people business, make more man. money off basketball? Why do white people make more money off rap music than black people? They were established. We got we we got to we, we got to stop it. Nothing against white people. Nothing against uh, white people. White uh, people ain't got no bid to make yeah. more money off Kool-Aid and Wallet money. They were we established won. before. Like, we started off this white conversation. White people make more money off gold. They don't even We started even off this conversation talking about 400 years of slavery yeah, we gotta and stop civil it. rights right. Uh, right. following right. that. So, look at the head start. Right. Well, and we it ain't dead white, it. other races. Yeah. And yeah, some black people were getting right. it. Right. But right. We, we know where the numbers are and the ratios are. Right. But we started off this conversation pretty much saying that it was lopsided. So, they were established in all these industries, bro. Before us, yeah. Man, right. we coming, though. We coming, we coming. And they hate, like, remember we were just saying, LeBron, yeah. James, Jay-Z. Q, right, right, right. Q, one Q, of my favorite. Q, I post every Q, day. Q, Q say, I, I want my own stage. I don't want to be on your stage. I want hey, my own stage. Hey, man. You know, Jay Z said the same thing. Nipsey said the same thing. I agree. So we yeah. come in progress. Ben is saying the same we thing. We name very few people, bro, right. and compared to what the conglomerates these people. Got. Remember now, I'm optimistic of where we're going because of trailblazers like you, because of the people we have in our community, because of Raymond Shine, because of the people I see in our community, and, and, and I don't know if I would have this same confidence in another. Uh, uh, area because they don't go through the struggle we went through. You know, if yeah. Alabama is the most overcrowded prison system, it's because of the government. And if we're under that much, you know what I'm saying, prejudice and racist government, the people in these communities, in these uh, uh, in this state, have to endure more than the person that, say, was born in New York or born in Chicago or born in California because, we, you know, we're getting, you know, racially profiled like no other yeah. in Mississippi and Alabama. So, you know, we have more to overcome. So we're stronger. If you know we're, we're stronger in a sense because we have to deal with more. We gotta keep on instilling yeah, right. confidence. We have to fight each other and fight instilling you know, confidence the in ourselves, and the man. And we right. gonna do greater things, and it's gonna keep progressing in the multiple great things. You know great. what I'm saying? Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. all right, man. I get summing it up because of course it won't be an all day, man. Okay. This conversation, this shit can go on for hours and hours. It can. And hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they fun, man. It's it's fun. Fun. I love it. 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 But I, I got, but I got to go home. So I got to get up at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. You watch me that. They head to uh, V949 Home Team Morning Show. What up, homie? What up, V? Uh, letters to Wisdom. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, comedian Miss V. We work together every morning. This is another entrepreneur. She write books. So, you know, right now I'm going to take this time. First of all, thank you, Eric Wynn, for coming on through. You know what I'm saying? Kicking the game with the Barbershop Stories, episode three. Uh, you know, you can uh, donate all the money to Raymond Shine, and he's gonna take a picture at the door, find all the pictures, all that shit. 
But yeah, we appreciate you coming through. Shout out to all the sponsors and all the upcoming events and all that. Even the people who ain't paying for this shit, I'm going to do it anyway because I want to <laughs> see you succeed. Because I might want to hold some. Um, this weekend, I'm in a play. Shout out to Allison Samuels. There's a play called Dead Wrong. It's going to be a new birth. Shout out to Stephen Davis for even booking us on it. Yeah, that, that's going to be nice. That's 6.30 this Friday. Then at 8 o'clock this Friday, I'm going to lead out here to Bessemer with our lead. Oh, uh, damn. No, what's it called? Lab Speaker Tune. That's with Glenwood and with the big homie Zeus. You know what I'm saying? That's at the Bessemer Civic Center. Then also, I'm the host of the Alabama Music Awards this Sunday, Bessemer Civic Center. Y'all make sure you come out, get on the red carpet. I'm going to be shy for a chain and shit. Then my third year in a row. Now, I don't look at myself as big, but that shit big to me. Because it's big. It's huge. Three years in a row, they got to think something about you. You know what I'm saying? Then, uh, and it's only getting the big. monthly show, of course. Then, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, two, got a monthly show, but now we're doing them twice a month. I got uh, Roots Place. Shout out to Janice up at Roots Place. That's every first Tuesday in the month. August 6th, that's the next one. It's called Laugh Before Class, and I'm going to hook you up. Tickets one for 15 or fuck it. Give me two for 20. I got you. Two for 20, but it got to be purchased together. Or it's just $20 at the door. It ain't no hookup at the door. Straight up. All right, then also live at the barbershop. That's coming back in the month of September. Right now, we're doing some light remodeling. We got uh, D. Allen over there with uh, D. A. Paint Service. Big Nigga Paint Services. Come over here, D. Waiting on to get up. Waiting on to get the hell out of the way. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say black folk don't shout out each other. We're going to celebrate each other, man. Come on over here, man. This is a shout out hour. We got, <laughs> we got a few more minutes. Shit, we ain't governed by nobody. What's up, fella? DA, what's up? Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? DA, DA, DA what's up, what's up? been knowing this fella since yeah. middle school. You know what I'm saying? All star little league player. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. <laughs> 75 to 95 pounds. Here with that deal. But yeah, but real talk, he got a he got a uh, light construction service, paint service. Hell, he back there finna do some work now, getting ready for the special and do something. D, tell me a little bit about what you got going about. Uh since I've been decided to put me on the spot. Yeah. Got a few things yeah, going on. I've been in business for myself now yeah, about three years. Um, well as pressure washing, uh, specializing in paint, uh, whether it's commercial and residential. Uh, got a few things coming up pretty big I'm working on, so just trying to keep moving, that's all. DA paint service, baby. Oh yeah, and then shout out Man, to- Man with him. Shout out to, like I said, everybody who support this thing. Today we ran a little bit over hour, but I think it was good, so that shit was a lot. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the videographer, K1 with Z-Lens Media. Shout out to him. He here every week on time. Love, That's love, why people love, say love. niggas do bad business, not the niggas I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, so shout out that. to K1. Shout out to yeah. Raymond Shine, a.k.a. Shine the Barber, Shine the Great. Motherfucking two sorry, motherfucking nigga. Yeah. <laughs> two two sorry, Tom. Yeah, yeah all, all the old hoes call him Tony. Hey, Tony. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Tony. No, I'm fucking with him. But if photographer clips and clicks, y'all check him out, man. I'm going to let him do my family photo. That's how fat he is. I ain't going to let no I need him all his man. Yeah, and then uh, shout out to Sonny Black back there, Rock House Records. He ain't going to get on the camera because he got on the tall oh, team. You know what I'm saying? That's the nice self, <laughs> nigga. Yeah. Shout out to Dollar. Know what I'm saying? Shout out to D. Goddamn D. His arm over there. He over there cool. He got <laughs> he got on one of them, uh, the nigga on Wu Nina hat. He on one little video. What up, Mario? What up, what? Yeah, man. And then, of course, this is shout out time. You know, niggas get mad when you don't shout him out, but I'm only going to do shout out. Shout out, war. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. Shout yeah, out. Sir. Oh, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, no, you know, I'm just plugging it in as, as you talk. Oh, yeah, you know, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Hoping man. my boy bleed through. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, with him, rock with him, you know. That's right. And then, too, I also do T-shirts, too. This right here is a shirt, I think they say, with your line ass. You can get from one from it. You can send it to my cash app, dollar sign, Benny Mac 205. Come by the barbershop. Come by the radio station. Call me. I'll meet you. But if I got to come to you, it's going to cost you $4 because I'm a little hungry. Transmission slipping, so it mm-hmm. take more gas. I got that. Also, war. Make sure you get in touch with E Win online. E Win, Eric Win, rather. Yeah. War. We are related. That's the acronym. Make sure you check him out. He say he getting away for free, but I'm sorry. I said no. I said, hold on, hold on. Man, I said I give him to the youth. I don't know when I go to school. Mine 20, I got some 25. <laughs> but when I go to schools, when I go to community, when we speak to the kids, we give them away. Okay. All right, well, that's and we give them away a, a lot. But well, you clear that up. If you, you can't afford one, we want you in one. So, you know, we're going to try to rearrange some. Okay. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. And then that show, shirt right there, that says, uh, ain't scared to be me. If you want to be seen in one of them holes. 
I got you. I got yeah, you. Right, right I got you. And then also, too, we are true, live, real live barbers. I've been a barber for 25 years, 21 professionally. Big homie Sammy No Knows. I let, you, let him tell his own story. Oh, you man, know what I'm saying? Almost but, 30, you know, 20 plus professionally, you know what I'm saying? Grinding still, Woodlawn, 4831 First Avenue North, man. 591 Cuts. That's right. We open seven days a week, man. We're one of the few that's open seven days a week. We get here early as 430. We do appointments too, so we are professional, regardless of the rhetoric in the street. God damn it, there's some fire ass niggas out here, and I'm gonna represent that. And uh, shout out to Allison Sanders, super duper play writer, for even saying fit to even put me in the motherfucker. That's just Friday. Like I said, shout out to V949, Homer J. Uh, Kim, Kim Phillips, uh, goddamn the the incomparable Miss V. Do what up? I gotta come down. check y'all out right now. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. August third too, man. Oh yeah, we got you, man. We got you. I you got know, you. I gotta get. Um, shout out to Chris Coleman. You know that's the dude who hired me. You know, hey, he saw fit to hire nigga. Hey, I appreciate that. All opportunities, good opportunities, is what you make of. You know, and uh, shout out to hey a lot of folks. Nicole Ray, what's happening? Yeah, Tracy. Man. Uh, Mr. Ron, Jane Red, Ron, Marshall, you know, everybody. And if I forgot you, you gotta remember I've been drinking shit on normal drink. Gin, <laughs> nigga, uh, with the pumpkin uh, bottle, you know what I'm saying? You know what that do to you. Get on shout my out level. to everybody. Get on my level. Make sure you tune in <laughs> to Barbershop Stories Episode 4. You never know who we're gonna bring in. There's always gonna be somebody good. You ain't got the norm for them niggas to be fat. Interesting fine. guess, man. You Comment. know what I'm saying? We're gonna, we gonna bring that real. We are from Birmingham. That's what I represent, but we fuck with the world too. Sam, mm -hmm. you got anything you wanna say, big homie? Community advocacy, man. That's what we about, man. You're gonna see guests from the community and maybe some people that you probably know they face from somewhere, but you know, we're gonna have people that in here that's gonna have some real spit for you, man, all the time. We trying to chop up the game. We want the game, so you know, shooter does online, however you want to do it. I'm on Instagram now. Mess with me. I just stepped into the new age. You know what I'm saying? Snapchat might be coming to a goddamn uh, phone near you. You know what I I got to get off into that, but N O N O S K N O W S on Instagram, man. No, 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 man. Mess with us, man. Yeah, man. Check my homeboy out. His real Instagram got his whole name. He got Mr. Samuel <laughs> Lee Harden Jr. III. He throw it right old nigga do it. You know old nigga don't know how to work. You know we'll break out with what they all talk about. Righteous man, man. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. it been fun, man. Hey, I love chopping up them politics. Like I said, I love information. August Appreciate third, e coming through with August with third, Kelly Ingram Park from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, special guest, Mark Petway, Mayor Randall Woodfin, Danny Carr, hosted by Lady Wu. We're giving out some shirts there with free food, music, games for the kids. Everybody that's not doing something that day that want to come out and just get some free and just want to celebrate unity, we're going to be at Kelly Ingram Park August 3rd from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, well, that's what's up. With that being said, the last thing I am going to say, I forgot to say this. Now, we talked about war. We talk about what it represents, what you do, how you feel about things, and what you're doing to do something about it. We gonna commit to actually reaching out to other brothers who doing what they doing and respect what they doing, and just link that shit together and respect right. the working part. Right, I love and it. And we can move Man, together progressively. That's the part we gonna take tonight, my nigga. What's up? We gonna pack to that. All right, but shit. Yeah, without that being said. We out. We'll see you next week, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Barbershop Store. Barbershop Store. Yes, Barbershop well. Store. I'm committing that ready to have a good string of Benny Mac. In the book. Who they live? Benny Mac. Who they live? Benny Mac. Who they live? Benny Mac. That goddamn Benny Mac.